My name is George Freda, F-R-E-D-A. I was in the Army in Korea uh, two times, once for the occupation in 1947 and 48, and then with the, uh, the military advisory group in 1950. And, uh, and I was there when the war broke out the, the first day because I was uh, near the 38th parallel. And then I was wounded on the second day of the war by Russian tanks with North Korean army. <laughs> My name is Max Johnson, and I went in at Pusan and built airstrips and worked my way up to Wanju, Chunshan, Kempo, Seoul City Air Base, and that's what I did most of the time. My father, uh, father, his name was Charlie Herman Erland, and he was in the Marines, and he was in the middle of training camp uh, when, the, when the war actually stopped, so he didn't get a chance to go over there, but they were fully prepared to go. Uh, he ended up serving on the Monrovia and, and doing a med cruise, so. My name is Richard Halferty, and I'm a retired captain in the United States Navy, and I served uh, on board a destroyer in Korea, and uh, my only brother was killed in Korea. And uh, so we're a Gold Star family, and I'm a Gold Star member. But I am blessed to have people like you who continue to carry the torch. And for that, I am grateful. Uh, it was probably working on the airstrip at Young Dung Po, right across from Seoul, because it, it was a little more convenient to catch up with people in that, but we traveled a lot. My most fond memory was being with Juju Chang on Good Morning America, and uh, her, mother, her mother hugging me and saying, thank you for saving my country, thank you for saving my life. That was a fond memory. Hang in there. Keep going. Be blessed. Whatever you do, do for the glory of God, because everything else is folly. When you think about your country and what you're doing, look at the real values of it. You know, learning how to sing karaoke is fun, but that doesn't progress a lot of stuff. So I think what came in there in most cases was Love your family, love your country, serve them both, and always remember, you know, that that's the people you can rely on. But if you're not willing to accept the responsibility of the job you have, don't start. What I have for the youngest generation is never forget the sacrifices made by your elders. Many died. Many. Uh, paid the ultimate sacrifice because freedom is not free. And that's the message. Remember, freedom is not free. If you get uh, if you get the opportunity to serve your country in the military, you've been blessed because you've been given two things: friendship with others and a chance to serve others. <laughs>